Thanks, Mr. Jesse. Well done, Birch. Is it safe yet, Mr. Jesse? Well, as long as you can grope your way for the coils here. Well, I'm fine, sir. The dark and messy rooms are kind of my natural habitat. Thank you, Mr. Jesse. Holy moly! What the hell is that thing? Something worth putting up a damn big glamour for, I guess. I've never seen such a peculiar being. Looks like one of those dinosaurs they dug up in a desert. What's in there? This is incredible. According to these studies, it's some kind of pre-Columbian creature. The natives called it the Piazza. Scott's gonna shit bricks when he hears about this. I mean, Agent Bloom is gonna be really interested in this find. He majored in mythological creatures, but seeing it with your own eyes? Splendiferous. That freaky kid's building an army of foul bloods. How did you get roped into all this? Look here. The last entry is from the 12th of May, three years ago. That's probably when the ticks came. This ugly-ass trophy must have been important to her. It's clear she didn't want uninvited guests here. Get the coils, kid. Let's find a place where you can fix the gauntlet. Because we need it ready for action. That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir? We have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got... out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that... angry maniac thing you do... Maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to... Well, me. You're welcome. This better work or there's gonna be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? Too many female doctors, but I guess you can't stop progress. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh... Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why is an Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well, 
So be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> Oh, there you are. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living... container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. It's not only that, it isn't like anything <laughs> we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Uh, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small-town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. Conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own, then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I hope I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. feeling about this. Ooh, our zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. by more of these ugly tumors. I need to take them out to destroy the illusion.
I now believe there is another ancient beast we can use against our enemies. Its blood is more primitive, purer. Its birth, I believe, dates back to pre-colonial times. This is what connects us all. The source of all power resides in the blood. Bones, blood, and things that we put together. It's getting weaker now. Probably there's one or maybe two sources more. spent thousands to take possession of this shit out of This machinery hasn't been used for ages. Something's fishy here. Look at yourselves, my children. You were sick, weak, and poverty-stricken. Dirt poor peasants living simply to survive, bound by pain, clinging to a pointless life. Your only ambition was to pass that suffering onto your young. But now that you have decided to accept my gift, you can leave all that pain and fear behind. I gave meaning to your blood. And blood is everything. I hear you waiting, creeps. Check this beauty out.
There you are. That was the last source. Let's see what you're hiding there. Let's go. Smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. Christ is a goddamn mud factory. Changed every last one of the workers here. out in this damn jungle. Hell, these things are alive and pumping blood. Got a bad feeling about its source.
leeches. Guess I'm on the right track. I found it, Father. The forest flourishes by feasting on its blood. It's exactly how you described it. Ancient, unique, pure. This is the missing element that'll accelerate the change. Combined with my blood, we can create a perfect progeny. Bound with my will and ambition. Your life's work will be complete. They'll all see we were right to act now. If you can't change people, change the world. And force them to adapt. Forest, the more blood traces I see. That's never a good sign. tree is covered with those damn leeches.
ancient beast. Fucking great. Doesn't look to be long dead. That's a hell of a tooth. Guts. Great.
So this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology. It's working, Birch, but we could sure use another one. That's... Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Cause I got some samples. Mine. <laughs> That's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Debano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. 
You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. You picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything, doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you. Those are Edgar's. Must have found that planet here. The trail leads this way. Christ, wish I had a map of this place. Now that sounds like trouble. Something broke the boat, but it looks like you managed to escape. Must have been in a hurry if he dropped his damn crossbow. I'm sure Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. Here except those freaks.
whole place smells like death. Jesus, who the hell was that set up here? Find it. Find it. Spider web. I hate spiders. Twisted and covered with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. They're teeth marks. Oh, it's sucked dry. Why? Some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. That eight legged freak was hunting him down. This is that giant arachnid's lair. He's not wrapped up like a mummy in a web. Guess he got away. Let's stick to the facts. Bloom Research Vampiric Legends, a, a lot of myths and hoo-ha about some sort of plan. One that could allegedly reverse the process of the change. It's considered an affront to the purity of the royal blood. Ominous. But can it work? From a biological point of view? Now and then, some of those legends contain a grain of truth. An endemic species like this may have peculiar properties. If researched properly, some cell mutations, I don't know. Imagine how many people we could save if you made it work. Look, I'm not a miracle worker, Virgil, but I'll give him a best shot.
They both used to be thick as thieves. Got it. Doesn't look healthy. Better run quick before it sinks. Take that. down on top of me. More 
footprints. They lead to that church over there. Say I trust you, Edgar. Just... 
work now. Over here! Finders keepers. Edgar? Chest behind you! Thanks for the hand, but I had it under control. You can tell. I found the plan. The locals call it La Orchid de la Vida, or something foreign like that. We get this back to Calico, squeeze it out, and maybe we have ourselves a way to turn this around. I'm sorry I got you into this. Yeah, getting your ass out of the fire has kind of become a habit. Edgar, you can't keep doing this forever. When those ticks attack the manor, what did your father do? Run? Nah. He kept on squeezing the trigger. That's what he did. People like us don't retire, Jesse. Even if you're lucky enough to live long enough, you'll soon realize there's nothing waiting for you. There is no normal for people like me or your father. And I was uh, naive to think there might be some normal for you. Anyway, now that just about everyone else in the Institute is dead, I figure you and your daddy are gonna need all the help you can get to build things back up again. Well, first you give me those pretty flowers, then you get all emotional on me. Edgar, you ain't gonna try to kiss me now, are you? You little shit. <laughs> Damn it, Harold's here. You backstabbing witch! You ratted us out! Dr. Blackwell, I know we've had our differences, but this... For your information, 
I had nothing to do with Mr. Harrow's sudden appearance on our doorstep. But thank you for confirming how little faith you have in me. Now, I don't presume to know how things work for you, gentlemen. But I can assure you that Calico wasn't built on broken words and betrayed confidences. Women in my position don't have that privilege. Now, I assume you have the plant? We do. Good. And there are clean syringes and alcohol swabs in the lab. Five minutes is all we need. Mr. Gravener is looking for you, sir. He's in the basement with your father. Come on, William. I've seen you survive worse. You can beat this. feeling that so much squeezing my brain oh, there's some thoughts in here that, that aren't mine oh i see her jesse oh no you must stop her before wait wait i see Sai. dickinson she's in dickinson I need to get to Dickinson. Tough old bastard, he's turning it around on her. It's gonna be a hard sell to Harrow. Gotta try. You keep an eye on him. And keep your hands off that switch. Sir, Mr. Harrow is waiting in the briefing room. He's... Assistant Secretary Harrow, sir. Agent Rentier. And Dr. Blackwell brought me up to speed on your father. Sir, we... I know. It couldn't have been easy. His shadow will loom large over us all. Please accept my condolences on behalf of a grieving nation. And try not to wallow in grief. It only leads to blunder. And this country desperately needs success. Aside from the news of your father's tragic demise, I've also briefed the Assistant Secretary on the successful destruction of Felicity's leech factory in McCallum Sawmill. That and a penny will buy me a cup of warm piss, Doctor. No one is safe while that crazy she-beast and her army of freaks are on the loose. And do you have any idea where she is? No. Actually, I do, sir. We have intel that she's currently in Dickinson. What intel? Can't say, but it's 100% solid. Great. You can head for Dickinson after you get back from Kingston. Kingston? There's a case containing some very sensitive information there that I need picked up. But sir, the Dickinson lead. There's at least three interstate railroads there. It might be a part of Felicity's transport. Very well. You, you there. What's your name? Oni? Virgil Oni? Do you know your way to Kingston, only Virgil? I, uh, With all due respect, Mr. Assistant Secretary, Virgil is our top engineer. I, he is not fit for field action. I don't give a watery shit about his curriculum fucking vitae, Doctor. I'm funding this circus of yours, and I want those papers back now. Mm. I'll get them for you. What do I need to know? 
We recently got our hands on a partial list of companies tied to the Andalusia Financial Services Group, like McCallum's Mill and the Kingston Oil Fields. Debano. Debano, indeed. He and his maniacal brat are up to their assholes in illegal acquisitions, and the government intends to seize their not insubstantial portfolio. Sounds like you need a lawyer, not a vampire hunter. Tried that already. I even sent in the blasted National Guard to secure the papers. But the place was guarded. That's where you come in. So what exactly am I looking for? Based on the final telegram from my forensic accountant, Andalusia's portfolio of holdings is stashed in a briefcase, presumably still at the Kingston Oil Fields Bureau on the far side of the lake. I still don't get why it's more urgent than looking for Felicity and Dickinson. Wars cost money, Rentier. And unless you've forgotten the incident at your former headquarters, we are at war. This could very well turn the tides in our favor. 